All right, the last case for L'Hopital's rule is what are known as indeterminate powers. And the idea is you're getting a limit of the form 0 to the 0, infinity to the 0, or 1 to the infinity. Um, and so if we have something raised to a power, our original thing that we're taking the limit of, you can think about that as being a function raised to some other function. The trick on these is you're going to introduce natural logarithms. So you'll take the natural logarithm of the left side, get ln of y, take the natural logarithm of the right side, and well, you get the natural logarithm of f of x raised to the g of x. And recall with logarithms that powers can be pulled out front as exponents, so that's what we're doing on the next step. And then the idea is we're going to examine the limit of this stuff. So let's find an example here real quick. So we'll do two of these. Suppose I have the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x plus x raised to the 1 over x power. Well, e to the x is going to go to infinity. x is going to infinity. 1 over infinity is 0. So we're getting the form infinity raised to the 0, which again is one of our indeterminate powers. So you can think about this part as being your y. So my y equals e to the x plus x raised to the 1 over x. So if I take the natural logarithm of both sides, the 1 over x will come out front. And then I'll have ln of e to the x plus x still hanging out. Okay. So again, what we're really interested in at the beginning is the limit as x goes to infinity of y, if I'm calling all this stuff y. But instead of looking at the limit as x goes to infinity of y, I'm going to look at the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of y. And I'm going to use that instead. So I have the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of y. And you don't have to write this stuff down every time. Hopefully this is just going to illustrate some stuff. Well, I'm taking the limit of one side, I have to take the limit of the other, and I'm going to go ahead and just write the 1 over x times ln of e to the x plus x as a fraction. So I have ln of e to the x plus x divided by x. And notice now the denominator is going to infinity, the inside's going to infinity, ln of infinity is infinity. So I'm getting the indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. So I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule. I'll get the limit as x goes to infinity. Well, the bottom part's easy. You'll just get 1. When you take the derivative of natural logarithm, you get 1 over the stuff. So e to the x plus x times the derivative of the inside, which will just be e to the x plus 1. And again, if we rewrite this with a little bit of algebra, I'm going to get e to the x plus 1 on top, e to the x plus x on the bottom. But again, this is going to be the form infinity over infinity. So I can use L'Hopital's rule one more time. Well, as many as I want. Hopefully one more time will do it. I'll get e to the x on top. I'll get e to the x plus 1 on the bottom. All right, well, this is still of the form infinity over infinity. I could do L'Hopital's rule one more time. The limit as x goes to infinity, I'll get e to the x over e to the x. Again, this looks like infinity over infinity, but simplify down with your algebra. e to the x over e to the x is just going to be 1. So the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 is just equal to 1. And this is where you have to be careful, because originally I was interested in finding the limit as x goes to infinity of y. Remember, we we relabeled all of the original stuff y. But instead what we found is we found the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of y. Well, I can rewrite this. Recall that I can write, um, so these aren't equal. This is what's going to be equal. I can rewrite the limit as x goes to infinity. I can rewrite y if I can talk, as e raised to the ln of y. Remember this cancellation property with logarithms. This is an equivalent way of writing y. But now I know what the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of y is. That's what we just found up here. That's 1. 
So my solution is going to be e to the first or just e. So the moral of the story, the shortcut is when you have these, you're going to introduce natural logarithms just like we did here. You're going to take the limit just like we did on all this part. And pretty much once you get an answer out, what you're going to do is, is you'll take e and you'll raise it to that particular number and that will be your solution. Again, here's the justification on why you use e, but just mechanically, once you get your answer, I would just jump right here and have E raised to that. Let's do one more case here. Suppose I have the limit as X approaches 0 of cosine of 3X raised to the 5 over X. So again, cosine of 0 is 1. 5 over 0, you can think about that as being infinity. So here you're getting the form 1 to infinity. So again, you can think about this as being y. If I rewrite it, I'll get 5 over x will come out front. I'll take the natural logarithm of the cosine of 3x. And I'm going to look at the limit as x approaches 0 of this stuff. Well, again, I've got something very convenient that can go in the denominator, namely the x. I'll leave the 5 ln of cosine of 3x on top. And now when I do L'Hopital's rule, certainly you could pull the 5 all the way out front if you wanted to, if you just wanted to get rid of this 5 so that you don't have it hanging around in the problem. The derivative of x is just 1. 5's along for the ride. I'll get 1 over cosine of 3x. So that's the derivative. And then I'll multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is going to be negative sine of 3x. And then again by the derivative of the inside times 3. So let's see, what are we left here with? We've got the limit as x approaches 0. Let's simplify this down. Um, the negative will get negative 3 times 5, or negative 15. I'll have sine of 3x divided by cosine of 3x. Well, sine over cosine is tangent of 3x. And as x approaches 0, tangent of 0 is 0. So I'm going to get negative and 15 times 0, or 0. But again, I'm not done. I have to remember that really I didn't find the limit as x approaches 0 of the original thing. I did the natural log of the original thing. So just like before, your final answer, just take e and raise it to your solution here. And e to the 0 is just 1. So that is, in fact, the solution. The limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of 3x raised to the 5 over x is going to equal 1. I hope all these examples of L'Hopital's rule help you out. Um, try to do a couple straightforward ones. Try to do a couple tricky ones. Um, again, only do L'Hopital's rule when you do have one of these indeterminate forms. Um, people don't like limit problems, I think, by and large, and L'Hopital's rule is something that will make a lot of them much easier. But if you do it when it's not one of these indeterminate forms, you'll get a completely erroneous answer and um, could be just way, way, way off on what the, from what the correct solution should be.